New for spring summer 2020, we have the armored edition of the Saint Unbreakable Slim jeans. So these have been out for a couple of seasons and they've never featured armored pockets or armor. So for 2020, they do that and they are also CE approved. These are an expensive single layer jean. There's no doubt about that. They really offer for people who want the best when it comes to a motorcycle jean by virtue of using Dyneema as a fabric, which is stronger than steel by some margin and also lighter than water. So it's a great material to be able to blend into a motorcycle jean in this one layer because it still looks and feels like your everyday wear off the bike, but is of course going to offer you loads of abrasion resistance when you need it to on the bike as well. So it's a great material and the single layer is really kind of the ultimate. It resembles as much as you can your regular jeans being single layered of course, but it does away with the thickness and the weight that gets associated with jeans that do the default, which is to have a denim outer, an arrow midliner, and then possibly something else as well, which means that there's a quite a big bulk element to a lot of the jeans out there on the market. So these don't have that, they're a slim fit and they do exactly what they say on the tin. So it really is rather slim towards the skinny end of the spectrum. The sizing though is true to the size guide and to the listed inch waist increments. So as someone that has gone down slightly in waist, I'm just over a 32 now and the 32s here fit me spot on. The leg length is a 34 in all of them, which caters pretty well to most people. We find a 33, 34 leg is really the best length because it gives you an extra inch over what you would normally need in your regular jeans because you spend most of your time where you need them to be in use with your leg bent and therefore it rises just that little bit, that inch or so at the bottom. So it's worth having it maybe an inch longer than you normally get it. That would be my view. So there's indigo color, which is quite a dark color of the indigo to it, which could be mistaken for black. And sometimes it doesn't quite come through with the studio lights, but it's a smart color and it looks really good. So in terms of do they fit well and do they feel good? Yes, they absolutely do. The one snagging point to these, well, the two really, is the combination of the price point. They are not cheap. They're 350 pounds without armor. And that without armor thing is also one of the other issues. They're an Australian brand, so it is conceivable that the nuances of C approval maybe, and they are a little bit complex. So perhaps there was something missed here in the planning department because they're C approved to level B. A, AA and AAA are what we normally see. And this is for garments that are both impact protective and abrasion resistant. Now, simply for the reason that they don't sell the armor included at the price with this, even though it's got a pocket specifically for D3O level one ghost armor, because it's not included as part of the package, they cannot be submitted for C approval for A, AA and AAA. They have to be submitted for abrasion only, and they are, and they are a level B, which is what you get if a garment is only abrasion resistant. It seems really silly to me because this could easily have achieved double A, no doubt about it, because it's a Dyneema 25% single layer blend. It absolutely would have sailed through and that would be a really good selling point. But because it doesn't come with the armor, it's a B. There is no higher tier to B. There's not B, double B or triple B like there is with the A. It is just B. So a slight shame there, but nonetheless, these are a very good gene. It just means as well though, that if you are armoring up as I think you should be, if you're looking at these, you are close to the 400 pound mark when it comes to including the D3O armor in the knees and hips, which is 23 pounds a set. It's well worth it for the armor. The armor is fairly priced. It's some of the best you can get on the market and it's the latest and greatest from D3O. And it fits internally into the Velcro pockets and the height of the armor is spot on as well. We have it here in the right knee of the mannequin, but not the left. And you can see there's virtually no discernible difference. This is really slim line armor. It's ergonomic. The ghost stuff has the holes basically punched out of it in a honeycomb structure so that you can get as much breathability as well and also reducing any weight that is not strictly necessary. So it's really great armor, should just be included. Even if it's more money, it would still then mean it could be double A rather than B. So that's a slight snagging point and a bit of a missed opportunity, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't change the fundamental character and performance of what these have set out to do. And if you don't want the armor, of course, you don't have to buy it through the way that the jeans are marketed. The Saint branding is something that's always really nice and spot on. So we've got this in the little button here at the top of the zipped fly. A zip fly is always my preference over a button. It's just a little bit less fussy. You've got plenty of belt loops, as you can see, going around to the rear of the belt section. You've got these three across the middle, and this is great for getting it nice and tight with no drooping at all like you might get on a normal pair of fashion jeans so that you can not have any gap between the lower part of your jacket and the top part of your trousers. The same patch here with the just accents of the little orange stitching, which you can see in these three sections on the pocket here on the butt cheek and also with the little wing logo there as well, looking really nice and always a big fan of seeing the Saint logo sort of on the bounds there of being understated and being a little bit obvious. And as we go around, there's nothing really about these that you can see that screams motorcycle gene. And there are really sort of two approaches 
to motorcycle jeans. You either just go with it and say, this is clearly a motorcycle jean, it's got all these features, or you try and hide it. And this is really neatly hidden by virtue of the fact there are no obvious horizontal stitches for things like the armor pockets on the outside. Everything is integrated to blend in as much as possible so that you can wear these all day. So if you're someone that's in the market for a single layer jean, and you want something from a really reputable brand that do make very high quality, sturdy gear, then Saint is definitely worth a shout. There are cheaper single layered garments out there. There is no doubt about that. Saint have never been about getting the most amount of value for the money. There is definitely a little bit of a premium when it comes to their brand in terms of pure pricing, but the cut and everything about it is excellent. C approval being the one issue that slightly frustrates me about this product aside, I do think they're a great set of jeans, but I wanna know what you guys think about the whole concept and the item as a whole. So leave us your thoughts, comments, and sections in the feedback. Oh, so leave us your thoughts and comments in the feedback section below and stay tuned for more video reviews of the world's finest riding gear. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Stay safe, goodbye.